Hey everyone, this is Greg Hendricks. In this rig tip, we're going to go over jaw translation. So I have a beginning of a facial setup here, and here's my jaw root. And when the jaw control rotates, it rotates the joint, which you see in most rigs, and it gets the job done. But did you know the jaw also translates? So if we look at these videos, and I'll put links to these in the description. If you look at this first one, you see this, uh, it actually unhinges the more it rotates. And according to this video, uh, the first 20 millimeters, it doesn't translate, but beyond that, it'll start moving forward over this bump here. And I recommend you watch this whole video. It's pretty interesting. Um, this thing's called the articular disc. And if you have jaw pain and popping, it's because this thing, this, this disc, moved forward somehow and now your bone is actually on this raw nerve and when the jaw opens up it actually moves over this disc and cause a popping feeling so it's a pretty interesting video I recommend you watch that there's also this one that shows the jaw translating and this one's kind of cool it shows the the muscles tool the muscles too, so the masseter and temporalis. And this one's really cool. It's an actual x-ray of a real person opening their jaw. And you can kind of see it translate in here. You kind of tell the jaw's moving as well as rotating. It's pretty cool. So if we go back to Maya, and I'll show you a simple way to set this up. Um, you could use set driven key, but I prefer to use remap nodes instead of set driven key because to me it's, uh, it's a little bit easier to edit the values and get the look and feel that you want. So if we bring over the node editor, editor here and make this bigger. So I have my jaw control, which is this thing down here. and the jaw joint and we're going to use two remap values to translate this uh, this joint so let me just make this full screen so let's create a remap value and I'll call this one jaw up to down remap because um, it it goes down and forward to go across the that bump, the condyle of the mandible. So, and I'm going to use the rotate x and put that into the input value. And so, I want the jaw. To simulate the uh, how it doesn't rotate, how it doesn't translate immediately, because uh, according to the video, it's 20 millimeters. I'm not going to be exact. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. So let's say once the jaw control, let's say after eight, it will start rotating. So if we go to the remap and just to save time, I already messed with this and just put some default values to show you, just so you're not watching me mess with these values. So 8 to 24, I'll have it move. And I'll have it move negative 0.14. So once the jaw control reaches 8 degrees rotation, it'll start rotating and once it reaches a maximum 24, it'll reach this value. So now, if we actually plug this in, so it's up to down, so the out value will be translate Y. And if we look at this, so now we have it going down. And now we need to make it move forward as well. So I'll just duplicate this. 
and we'll name this for the back. And again, I'll just have it from eight degrees to 24 degrees. And for this one, I'll have it go to 0.2. So if we connect out value to translate Z, because it's in a world oriented to the world. So Z is forward, Y is up and down. And we'll just reuse this uh, unit conversion and plug it into that input value. So now, we have it moving forward and down, but as you saw in the video, it has like this kind of, kind of an arc to it because it's going around the condyle of the mandible. And right now we have it more, it's going in a diagonal direction. So to simulate that, we'll go to the up and down remap. Let's just uh, move this out of the way. And we'll have it at point in the middle. We'll just have it stop there. Actually, let me go to the side view so you can see this a little bit easier. You can see it has like this, it's not going straight diagonal. It has this kind of a little bit more of a curve to it. And you can adjust this by messing with this value. So you could even lower this here. So now you even have it kind of like uh, in this curve, in this arcing pattern. because it's gonna reach the value and then pull back some once it goes past its halfway mark. And you can kind of, you can kind of feel it looks, a, it just adds like a subtle touch to the jaw and it makes it a little bit more realistic because it actually does wrote, translate. It's a very subtle thing and it's pretty easy to set up. Um, they can add to your face rig, add a little bit, little touch of realism to it. All right, so hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.